the ethos of what Tom Marie does is that we are a professional academy. Uh, predominantly we do professional courses for people who want a career in food. We, we wanted to come up to Working Food Festival and demonstrate some of that, showing the public what we do and hopefully teaching people a few skills, teaching people things that they wouldn't normally do at home, give people an idea of what we do, but more than anything help put Working on the Map as a, a centre of culinary excellence. I think generally the members of the public have, have embraced this uh, demonstration theatre really well. It's a great thing and it's great that they've had the, the go-ahead to do the first one here and I heard that with this year's success it's going to be even bigger next year so it's nice because it's a good day out for everyone so it's, it's a good thing for the community. There, there has been a massive boom in, in food and you know where all the other businesses have been suffering the food seems to be growing and people are eating out more, people are more health conscious so you know people are getting more involved and wanting to explore new uh, cultures and I feel like honoured to be invited down for the first food festival in Woking. I think, I think the food festival here can help everybody learn more about food, being more engaged in food and it's lovely to see so many people enthusiastic and excited and engaged in, in what you're trying to do. It's a great atmosphere here. It's got a really nice fuzzy feel to it. It was really good. Really enjoyed it. Food festivals in general, you know, get everybody together as a sort of cooking and baking community. And it's a place where everyone can come and enjoy a shared passion. We had lots of children come up and uh, doing my demonstration with me. I think it's really important to get children involved in cooking and I think if you get children involved in the kitchen then it stops them buying so much takeaways and fast foods and uh, gives them some knowledge of how to cook and bake and just feel comfortable around the kitchen. It's a joy to see people getting more and more involved with food and ingredients and uh, it's exciting. It's exciting times for Woking, exciting times for Surrey itself. Uh, and, uh, there's, there's a lot of stands with a lot of beautiful ingredients and, and uh, a lot of people like I said very very interested with, with with food in itself, uh, very interested where products are coming from, how they cook, and, and it's becoming a bit of a part of the community, which is a great thing. The crowd were amazing, very in interested with our, with our dishes and the ingredients, and, and very happy how everything went. Walking Food Festival, I think, is a really, really good event, and I hope it's going to be a yearly thing because you know the more we do it, the, the, the more we, you know attracts people to Woking, and the better it is for the community. So the Woking Food Movement can start from today. You know, all together when they come up to the table afterwards as well, it's great because they get to ask questions, and then they can you know smell the different flavors and the different things and all the different methods you've been using. I think it's great for the area. There's, there's a lot of great stalls doing just the most amazing food. It's, it's nice to see, see it obviously first year, so hopefully there's many more. I mean the festival as a whole has been fabulous. Um, the attendance has just um, been amazing, you know, and the response from the Woking public and the Surrey public has just has been really outstanding. drawn people from all over the area, from all over Surrey, and I think they've all thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm very, very impressed, and particularly the Tante Marie demonstration has been wonderful. Uh, it's been well organised, and I hope we have it again. Everybody seems to have loved it. We've had full crowds all the time. We had chefs doing their local dishes in their restaurants. Then we also had um, people like Natalie that would make a dish that people could just make that at home, you know. So it, was, it really was for everyone. And, you know, this is the stuff from that Joe Wheatley's just finished, you know. So it was all uh, completely different types of recipes, which was great. We all hope that it goes ahead next year. All the chefs have said this. I want to do it. And Joanne that was uh, presenting it. And Tom Marie as well. They want to do it again. So let's hope that it goes ahead. Mm -hmm.